What's up guys? Today we're going to be learning all about Alice 3. Now if you're already familiar with Alice 2, you'll notice that Alice 3 is very different in a lot of ways. Either way, pay attention yo, because you're about to learn how to do some easy programming to make really awesome animations and games that you can show off to all your friends. So when you boot up Alice 3, you'll see a screen like this where you can choose the template for your world. For our first world, we're going to have a witch summon a dragon. So we want this swamp world, because this witch is all gross and lives in a cave and probably worships the devil or something. Note the other options here though, and be sure to start thinking of ideas for your own programs to do after you finish this tutorial. To select the swamp template, just scroll down, click on swamp, and then click OK. In a moment, the basic Alice 3 interface will come up. For now, we're just going to pay attention to the scene view in the top left. This lets us see the scene that we've set up, but right now we haven't really done anything, so it's just an empty swamp. Click Setup Scene in the bottom right of the scene view, and now we'll be able to add in our witch and our dragon and all the other characters. So now we get a bigger view of our scene, and on the right we can see the Properties pane. The top part of this has a bunch of buttons for moving and positioning objects, and the bottom part tells us about the properties of those objects. You know, we can change their color, their visibility, etc. But to add those objects, we're going to look at the line at the very bottom. This gives us a list of different object galleries. Objects in Alice 3 can be sorted by how they move, i.e. flyer, swimmer, quadruped, or by what theme they fit in. Click on the Browse Gallery by Theme tab. It's the second one. If you're like me, once you see all these themes, you'll be filled with inspiration for future Alice programs. For now, though, just select the second one, Fantasy. So now we can see some of the types of things that we can add to our world. We'll add cauldrons and dragons in a second, but for now, scroll all the way to the right to find the witch. If you click and drag her into the scene view, you'll see a yellow bounding box. This shows us where she would be if we were to let go of the mouse. Drag her right into the center, a little bit away from the camera, and release. Select OK on the menu that comes up. So now we see our main character, the witch. Like I said, she's kind of gross looking. And we're going to give her her cauldron. So scroll all the way to the left in that bottom gallery and you'll see a cauldron folder. Click on it, and we'll see all the different parts of a cauldron. But just note the cauldron itself for now. Just drag in the first option in front of the witch on like stage right, in front and to her right. Select OK in the menu that comes up. Now we can't see the potion in this cauldron right now, which bothers me. I'm trying to keep these videos short, so that's all for now. But check out the next video in the series to find out how to move the camera to get a better view. For now, just click File in the top left, select Save As, and then save your world wherever you want. I'm just going to save mine in my normal projects folder. Once it's saved, be sure to check out the next video in the series.